You know, I think people would be, if they really sat down and thought about how we know most of the things that we know in science in particular, um, that's what I'm thinking of. You know, how do we know an electron exists? You, you and I can talk about an electron because we have the benefit of basically physicists who have studied the problem explained it to us. But in most cases, we haven't had time to sit down and understand, you know, why do we why do we believe there is such a thing as an electron? I mean, it comes out to a fundamental aspect of our society, you know, ele electronics, electricity, and you and I barely understand it. We 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 have some vague oh, I'll put uh, my high school level concordance. understanding. Um, my my understanding is so primitive. It's it's similar to the uh, Bohr model um, of you know an electron running around as a a solid sphere with a negative charge. Uh, I I never ever understood it, uh, and I unfortunately I I doubt I ever will. And if it happened tomorrow that the electron was, if you will, discarded as a scientific theory, that that would not keep me up at night. I'm not invested in the idea of the electron. If it turned out to be a poorly explanatory model, then we would abandon it. We would throw it in the trash of history, and we would move on to the next thing, whatever it is, that helped us to better understand the world. And that's really what science is about. There's no dogma here. That's right. And, and I think for that's the benefit a big of those, differentiating factor. Sorry, for the benefit of those um, who obviously were not privy to the um, the conversation that Concordance and I were having uh, before the show started, we were discussing uh, the Big Bang Theory and uh, along these topics, you know, why is it that if we cannot fully under explain the Big Bang Theory that theism wins by default and Concordance pointed out very accurately, and I'll ask him to expand on it um, uh, now, if you if you may, concordance, that theism, atheism doesn't rely on belief in the Big Bang Theory. Concordance, you explained it much better than I did. Yeah, I mean, everything is tentative. In, in, in a non-theistic non worldview, we have no dogma, and that, that's one of the, the defining characters a rejection of the burden that comes with a belief in the supernatural means a complete rejection of the even the idea of dogma the 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 belief that there must be something out there some objective reality it, it's it's an embracing of doubt and tentative knowledge and the ability to adapt to what empirical data we have access to so that each new generation there is uh, you know, a new secular morality. There's a new secular understanding of the universe. There's there's the ability to change and adapt without being held back by uh, structural changes. I, I think in general, people associate non uh, let's say a, a theists associate a non-theistic position with the same kinds of dogma. They think we just substitute science in place of the supernatural. And that's not the case. We are free to abandon things like the Big Bang. If if the universe turns out to be, you know, eternal in the same state and unchanging, that has no impact on me other than what I write down in the textbooks or how I calculate my equations. But it doesn't fundamentally change my perspective on the universe. It doesn't change my spirituality or anything along those lines. 